factual I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through I might hit the bank and get a bag or two YouTube! What's good? So, I like to make one of these videos every year because it's not just for you guys, so you can see what I'm running that year in competitive, but also for myself so I can kind of look back on it and be like, what was I thinking? So today we're gonna run down through my entire competitive loadout, whole way down to BBs, and kind of break down what and why I'm using it. So we'll start off with the mask. Uh, obviously I have two here. Uh, I kind of use this one for open plays and like public games because it's bright and obnoxious and it kind of, you know, fits my personality. And whereas I use this one for uh, competitive because it blends in a little better with the bunkers or at places like Shot Zone, they have the netting up, you kind of blend in a little bit and it gives you just a little bit of an edge when you're trying to peek out. You don't like stand out immediately like you would with this one. I'm actually running this lens though it is the bunker kings hd clear so from the top it has that like yellow hd like tint to it and the bottom is clear and when you're wearing it you don't notice the fade but when you're looking through it it kind of brightens all the images but you can still see perfectly clear and I, I, I tried it, I really, really like it. Um, I couldn't decide between the clear and the HD clear. Went with the HD and do not regret it. But the mask itself is the Bunker King CMD. One of our teammates bought one. They were having a really good sale. We all tried it out and were absolutely blown away. This is the easiest mask to breathe in I've ever tried. And we've tried Die, JT, obviously the Bunker Kings. We've tried push um hk army and these ones have the most breathability and it's not even close it's incredible and the communication is perfect too i can hear crystal clear i can yell crystal clear there's no muffling or anything like that so you can hear everything i'm trying to say my teammates can hear everything i'm trying to say i can hear everything they're trying to say and it makes everything a lot easier in that sense and they look cool uh, I'm running the Bunker Kings Fly arm pads this year uh, for two reasons. They're really flexible. They don't get hot nearly as quickly as my old ones. Um, and also they're thinner, so it, if I get hit, I can feel it a lot better and it kind of minimizes the risk of accidentally no-calling which is going to be huge in NSL because those refs are, there's so many refs on the field, they're constantly watching, and whether you felt it or not, they don't care. You got hit, you're off the field, you don't call it for yourself, it's a penalty. So we, I want to avoid that at all costs. Uh, moving right down the line in gear, I got my Amped Nebula Edition HPA line and my Speedsoft belt. Now, this is my old one. You guys have seen this plenty of times, but I actually ordered the new one. It's supposed to be here today. It got delayed till tomorrow, but I didn't really have time to wait for it and make the video. So for now, I, I, it's a belt. But um, it, my new one's gonna be set up almost the same, but I'll do a whole video review of that later because I'm going to be using it all weekend. And in here we have the Amped SLP Regulator, a Carbon Fiber 15CI tank, and PTS EPM1S. Uh, you guys know I love my PTS mags. I can see uh, how much ammo I have left. They hold a ton. These little mags actually hold 170 rounds, which is huge because it makes it a little more comfortable with a pistol and also NSL only allows 200 per mag. So having 170 gets you really close while still being able to see your ammo count and in a very compact uh, form. Let's go on to the part that I know you guys are all waiting for. So this is my AAP-01. It is the uh, CTM-FUKU-2 upper. I have an 
Action Army Rotary Hop Up in it, Maple Leaf Barrel, Maple Leaf Decepticon Bucking, uh, Cow Cow Bolt, Waldo Springs All Around, the Cow Cow Short Stroke, Cow Cow Guide Rod. Um, I have the CTM uh, RMR mount uh, sights. I really like these because I like running a red dot. I just learned, um, actually I learned last year at HGK that I really liked running a red dot, but I didn't like that I couldn't see the regular sights because being able to hold this up and see both sights plus the red dot is awesome because we play in some variable light conditions and sometimes it's too bright to see the red dot, sometimes it's too dark to see the fiber optics, so seeing both of them is awesome. I have the CTM adjustable trigger, the Cow Cow stainless trigger bar, uh, Cow Cow trigger housing, I got uh, custom pins, screws, and a Cow Cow magwell and a custom done um, Glock 19 length uh, CTM lower done by Keystone Kappa Customs. And right now I have the uh, G and G tracer on it. I plan to swap that over to the uh, PCU Spike. And I'm running the um, primary airsoft uh, adapter. I know a lot of you are like, why not your Monk? Well, the Monk is nice, but I started having some issues with it, and I had both of them. So I was like, I'm just gonna run the primary instead of like just dealing with the issues that I had with the Monk. And in the Glock for format, the angle is really not much. So they actually end up being the same length. You just kind of have the mag back this way a little bit on the Monk. So it really didn't matter to me. And this one has given me no issues. So I've been running the primary. I think that's everything with this one. And so my, and last but not least, uh, so I'm a pistol player. I love playing pistol and NSL. We have to play with two pistol players. So I'm going to be running this 99% of the time, but this is going to be my 1v1 gun. And I think I'm probably going to be using this a little more in speed QB or CSL or SXL, whatever we end up getting into, just because it's very nimble, it's very light, and it uh, has a good bit more firepower than any pistol on the market. I can like really, really lane if I have to. Uh, it's laser, laser accurate. And um, just sometimes you need that. Sometimes you don't need it, honestly, but it's nice to have. And if I'm running a pistol in a tournament and I get into a spot where I'm like, man, I really wish I could just lane this uh, area. I can't do that with, I can do it with my pistol, but just not as well as I could with this. And it's not like I can swap on the field. So I'll probably run this in those kind of tournaments. But this is the El Diablo. Um, this is actually a prototype lower. Uh, it's got the Nebula Custom Magwell. Uh, new stuff that he's trying out that I don't know if he wants me to tell you guys, so I'm not going to explain what's new about this one. But the upper is the Nebula Cuts that you can get on the website for yourself. So from here up, you guys can actually get this gun. The uh, carbon fiber barrel. I have a Maple Leaf Barrel in here, Max Hop Up, Polar Star F2, and I'm actually running the Stock Polar Star Trigger Board, Stock Polar Star FCU and a speed curved trigger. Uh, I had flat, I've had curved. I just kind of prefer the curved for some reason. Um, and then this one has the Wolverine regulator in it and uh, an HK Army tank. But I, uh, for NSL, I think I'm gonna run the 15 CI just cause it makes it a little smaller profile, a little more nimble. And I don't need as much air because NSL runs two matches at one time so if i do a 1v1 i'll have time to fill up my air again i don't know we'll see uh i may run the 45 who knows and then um this is a pts epm it holds 150 rounds and it just looks dang good in there so i had to run the uh 
purple in it. I actually only have one of these mags, and it's literally just for this right here to look at it and be like, that looks good. Uh, otherwise, I run the EPM 1S's in it. They hold a little bit more ammo, and that short, short mag just feels really good with these guns, and it allows you to get a little bit lower. But that's pretty much it for my loadout this year. We got new jerseys right up behind me. I'm super, super excited for this season. We're going to be doing most of the NSL events. Uh, we're going to be trying to do some SXL, some speed QB. I think we're planning on hitting uh, a lot of the uh, speed QB championships. Uh, every Shot Zones event we can get to. Um, oh, I forgot. And every tournament you see me at this year, I will be running blue mag BBs. Now, that may not sound like a big deal unless you are like a serious competitor. But trust me when I say that these things are the cleanest and most accurate BBs I've ever used. So we can get through an entire weekend of playing and I don't have to clean my barrel once and they're still just as accurate as they were before. And which is huge when you have people that are peeking out and you only see this much of their face and you got to hit that little tiny target, it's super important that that BB is going to hit exactly where you know it's going to and Blue Mag does that for us. So we're super, super excited to be working with these guys because they are absolutely the best BBs we've ever had. And we kind of like hopped on with them on faith. None of us had even tried them and when they showed up we were just like, wow, that was a good call. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be running with Take One. He's supplying all of our pistol stuff, uh, keeping our pistols running good, running accurate. Um, full Auto, they're supplying all of our rifle stuff, uh, our engines, our parts, like, you know, barrels, tracers, things like that. Um, PTS supplies all of our mags. So we got the best mags in the business. We always know our ammo count and always know that we have the most possible rounds we could possibly have on the field. Bunker Kings. Bunker Kings, we're running head-to-toe Bunker Kings gear. All of it has been amazing. We're just absolutely blown away by the quality of their stuff. Everything we've tried has been perfect. Uh, we can't wait to try more of their stuff. Obviously, El Diablo for keeping us like equipped with the most accurate rifles on the market. And... Also, lowest maintenance. Like, there's no, no alignment, no any issues like that. You just put it in and it shoots straight, period. Like, that's such a relief for someone who has spent hours upon hours making sure that alignments are perfect so that I can get the most out of my gun. Just being able to just drop this in and be done with it has been amazing. And then last but not least, Black Bear Dispensary. They are a... Pennsylvania-based um, hemp dispensary. They sell creams, topicals, tinctures, flour, anything you can think of. Uh, they make uh, like icy hot type uh, creams, anything like that. And uh, helps after the tournament to get kind of loosened up and make sure my muscles don't get sore or when they do get sore to loosen them back up. And I think that's it. But Again, last but not least, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys kind of give me the motivation to keep doing this. Uh, I love reading your comments and everything down below. Uh, what's your favorite part of my rig? I, wa I want to know, um, do you prefer pistol or rifle? And just go out and play. Have fun, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.